Hello everybody and welcome back to Royalty Soaps. My name is Kenny. I am one of the soap makers here on the channel and today I'm going to be doing another soap by myself or, you know, people keep, keep asking for this. Hey Caleb, you want to do a video? Uh, no. Hey Caleb, you want to do a video? Where's your beard? <laughs> I, I cut it off. It'll be back, I promise. You know that I like to switch up my style, don't you? I don't believe you. Where is it? <laughs> I put it in the trash can. <laughs> no, but seriously, do you want to do a video together? No. But people really want it. I don't think so. I don't think anybody's asking for that at all. <laughs> but Caleb, look at this soap design that I made. Don't you think that that'd be great? You know, it's daring, but I like it. I mean, it's bold, but I think it'll pay off. Well, let's go make a soap. All right. Together. Okay. I'm leaving. <laughs> So like I said, we are going to be making the gnome soap, or the there's no place like gnome soap. So you can see that it's it's like a little face of a man with his little hat on top with a little pom-pom on the end. And we have a stamp that we're going to stamp these little curves so that it looks like he's kind of smiling his little eyes. And we're going to actually make this beard two colors. This has a bit of a manlier scent, so it'll be appropriate for the Bowie make. So Caleb and I have been constantly compared and apparently our voices sound very similar so here's a hint. I've got these sleeves that are green and I've got these sleeves that are red. So I happen to be a little bit better at piping than Caleb. <laughs> We're gonna what the crap? <laughs> so we're going to divvy this. You take that back. I'm sorry, Caleb. I'm sorry. We've got to divvy it up and be fair. Caleb's going to do the base, and then I'll do the piping at the end. But I'm going to give Caleb instructions because, you know, he might be a little bit rusty. I'll make sure they didn't do anything silly. Yeah, Katie explained it. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where... There's nothing on screen. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hopefully this will get cut. Yeah, cut! <laughs> okay, this is the scent that we're gonna use today and I'm gonna talk about it right now instead of when we're putting it in because Kenny and I are kinda new at doing videos and we don't wanna deal with acceleration while we're trying to explain about the scent. So I just smelled this for the first time and I quite like it. It actually smells like, kinda like grass, but not in a bad way, not in a, like a gross, like, oh, they just put like grass in the tube way, but like I'm surveying the lawn before I cut it kinda way, a pre-cut grass. And I actually just smell, I haven't smelled it yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's very green. I like it. It's very green. It's very fresh, but it does have, it is outdoors. So it is kind of like manly smell to it, but it's also really green and fresh. So I, I'd agree with you. It is kind of like grass and just a, like a hint of something, something a little manlier. Yeah. You know? Yeah, baby. Something burly. <laughs> So, first step we're gonna do is put this lye water in these oils, and we're gonna pour down the stick blender to avoid splashing, and we're gonna blend just past emulsion. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing about? Don't laugh about your wife's catchphrases, they're great. Caleb is triggering me right now because he just wasted that soap. It's being soaked into the paper towel over there. So now we're going to divvy this up into two smaller containers equally. All right, yeah, I just pour it in. That's right. Oh. So we're going to pour, because we're splitting it equally, we're going to pour some into this one and a, an equal and, amount. And, and some into that one? That, yeah, but an equal amount between both of them oh. because that would be a split. Yeah. So we call that a split in the industry. Yeah. We can cut out all of that. No. So we're going to set one off to the side for now. And then for this, this one here is going to be the beard that you saw at the bottom. So I'm just going to whip this in, make sure I get all my colorant out of it. So we're just going to incorporate this. And now we're going to pour off half of this for our lighter color. Remember, these are two colors inside the beard. Kind of like me and Kenny. Kenny and I both have brown and red in our beards like real freaks. Brown and red brothers, brothers-in-law. So we're just gonna throw a teaspoon of TD in one of these. 
What do you think about that, Caleb? Wee! That looks great. When the, the, or the Duchess is away, the boys have to decide for themselves. <laughs> the next thing we're gonna do is put fragrance oil in both of these. And then we're gonna put these back in and doing it in the pot swirl. In the pot swirl! ITP. For you and me. Now we'll grab our brambleberry molds. The brambleberry molds. Thank you, Squire. So now we're gonna pour these in. Yeah. Wizardly. Elderly. Gnomish. Magical. Yes. Majestic. Now don't forget to whippity wipity that containity winity. Gordon, give me that spatula. Is it texture time? It's texture time. Is it nice and straight on the frame, Kyla? Yeah, baby. Yeehaw! All right, now we're gonna texture this beard. Make it nice and lumpy, just like your beard. <laughs> hey! Relive the classics. So I'm gonna grab these slab molds for Caleb and we will mix up the top layer. So in this container, we have some 24 karat gold mica. For his little face. So I'm just gonna mix this up real quick. Together as one, we're going to pour this into the mold. We didn't go quite as quick as we wanted to, so we have to work together. Katie warned us that this color will change a little bit, so I'm, I'm looking forward to see what it looks like after it's cured for a little while. Lovely, just lovely. Yeah. Weepity, wipity. We're gonna tap these on the ground real quick to get rid of air bubbles. Each of us grabbing one. Damn work! Oh, what do y'all think, everybody? I think Caleb did a lovely job here on the base. So, we are going to mix up the piping. Hey, Caleb. Huh? <laughs> hey, Caleb. Huh? <laughs> Not even close. So, with our piping mixed up, we added this fun blue color that will make a very vibrant hat for Mr. Gnome. So, Kenny. Yeah, yes? I haven't even started piping, Caleb. I'm trying to, I'm just kidding. Ask me anything, AMA. We met, uh, how many years ago now? Like six or something? A what? Long, long time ago. No, 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 couldn't be. I think so. We have not talked about it in a long time. So I remember very few things about that day, but one of the most prominent things that comes to mind is that we played the game, is it called compatibility? Yeah, yeah. Everybody has the same cards in their deck. They put out the cards that they think best match whatever word they're trying to describe. Yeah, so it's like majestic and you might put down like a lion. You and I won because oh, you, yeah. you win in pairs because it's a it's a compatibility thing. Let me cut in here. I just want to say what I'm doing. I'm doing this on purpose on the piping. So what I'm attempting to do, I've never actually done this before, but I'm trying to make it so that his hat has a little bit kind of a curve to it. So that's why I'm going in a little bit deeper. But anyway, I continue please. It's so Caleb visited I'm trying to remember my initial emotional response was kind of like, huh. Hey. So I was very suspicious. I was like, who is this guy? Because Katie had never really dated anybody before. So I was like, what's the deal with this guy? What's she doing here? I don't know. You were really quiet too. Yeah. I remember really not earning any brownie points at all that you and I won. And it was just like, yep, we think similar. And you were like, who cares? <laughs> I was always a little bit suspicious of Caleb just because, you know, I was like trying to be a little defender of my sister. I don't know if you can tell right now. I went, you'll see it in the close up, but it's kind of bending over this way. Now we're just going to put little balls on the top of them, like a little pom pom on his hat. I think that we've mentioned before that our sister Shelly makes embeds for us, and she actually made these for me as well, and I love this color. It's going to really stand out and really make his hat look so luxe. Speaking of siblings, I do remember another detail about that day. You set up Simeon, and uh, for those of you who do not know who Simeon is, he is Kenny and Katie's other. Other little brother. Yeah. Little, little brother Simeon. Little baby brother. And while he didn't know that I was in the room, you saw that I was in the room and set him up by saying, so uh, what do you think about this Caleb guy? And then of course he just is answering honestly while I'm watching Caleb's face. And he did think well of me, which is uh, fortunate for everyone. I listened to what he said and said, 
Uh, wow! Thanks! So, overly suspicious of Caleb, because he turned out to be a real GM. <laughs> I mean that. Yeah, so I feel kind of bad for you guys sometimes when you're like having to make designs because sometimes I think of designs and then I think, yeah, you can't can't do that with soap. Yeah, there was one comment that I remember, it was from a long, long time ago, and somebody was like, you should make an edible soap. Yeah, <laughs> An edible soap. Uh, listen, in my last video in my cucumber, I'm sure y'all all watched it, I'm sure we all remember, I mean, anyway, it's great. But I said, uh, yeah, a slightly caustic pie, which is what it would be. <laughs> it's soap, it's supposed to clean you. I have to break up my habit of not putting glitter on top of my soaps, so I'm gonna put on this glitter that is from Mad Micah's. It is called Sparkle Me Aqua and this will give it kind of a, just a white shimmery and a blue to make him magical as he should be. But of course it goes without saying that we love all of the comments whether they make us laugh or whether they give us good ideas. Thank you so much for having a conversation with us. It is so much fun to read y'all's ideas. So please leave a comment below. Let's have a conversation. Our community is so cool. I cannot believe the people that Katie has just kind of gathered and rallied together. Y'all are all so fun and artistic and friendly. There's like no shade in the comments, which I appreciate. Because I'm so sensitive. Oh, this is looking magical. Absolutely magical. I have loved these Mad Micah dusters. All of their Sparkle Me collection is so much fun. Shouts out to MM. What do you think, Caleb? It's amazing! Oh, amazing. I thought you were gonna slap my silk. Be gentle. Be gentle with my baby. It's my baby too. <laughs> <laughs> By weight, I made more of it than you did. Oh! And some people were whining last time about me not spritzing. I did spritz. Even if I didn't record it, Katie removed it. She edits my videos. <laughs> I can't help it. So, because I'm editing my video, I'm going to say, now we're gonna spritz this with rubbing alcohol. Caleb, isn't it great? It's so amazing. Let's zoom in for, for a closer look. Let's. Y'all, what a fun soap. I'm loving that glitter on top. And you can kind of see the angle that I put these hats at. I wanted it to kind of look a little bit tousled over, like a sleeping cap, or, well, like a gnome hat. So we are going to wait for 18 to 24 hours, and then we're gonna cut up these soaps. And we're back after 24 hours, and we are ready to cut our gnome soap. I'm so excited to see the middle. Caleb? Yeah? Are you excited? I'm so excited to see how my base turned out. On a scale from 1 to 7.5, how excited are you? 10. Oh, that is off the charts excited. So let's turn it on its side to protect its little hat. So let's just line up these ball bells with the cutter so that we don't cut off his hat. That'd be tragic. Another gnome tragedy. So we're gonna show you what true friendship looks like because we're gonna cut it together. Because this is how you're supposed to treat your siblings and this is how you're supposed to treat other people that you know and love. You're going too fast. But oh, we, it's getting but, hard. Yeah, but Even we with are... a friend. Ooh. All right, let's see what's inside. Ooh. He's a little man. It's a little gnome. That's beautiful. It's not beautiful. It's handsome. Oh, it's, it's manly. <laughs> it's manly. That's very cool. I like that. Yeah, I do too. I, I like it's almost a little Merlin hat because of the color. Uh, yeah. With his swirly beard. Oh, that is cool. I like the swirly color. Yeah, I'm very pleased with how that, that came out. I thought it was going to be too running, but it was not. It is very good. Yeah, Caleb did that base just right. So, of course, Caleb will give me the question of the day, which is his speciality. If you were forced to wear one item of clothing all the time, would you rather have that be tennis shoes or a baseball cap? Oh, always. Yeah, always. Like in bed? Yeah, like in bed. You go to sleep in these things, you wake up in them, they do not come off. You don't wake up with them off. So like the hat is glued to your head and you never get free of that baseball cap. I'll give you five minutes whenever you feel like Either the cap or the tennis shoes are disgusting. I'll give you five minutes to sit down 
and change them out? That is a really difficult question. I think I would rather wear shoes all the time just because I really don't like wearing hats. I don't know why, but I don't like I'm squeezing my head. Shoes for me. What do you, what do you think? I'll, I'll do those shoes. I'll change my shoes before bed to my cleanest tennis shoes. I guess I'll shower in my dirty ones. Ooh wee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we well. Squelch, squelch. So, if you want to vote on this question of the day, click the I in the upper right hand corner. It's very important. Wowie, that soap really worked out, even though Katie didn't help at all. What, what did you think about the soap, Caleb? I thought the part that I did was really great. I hope that this was the collaboration that everybody expected it to be, wanted it to be, and hoped it would be. I know I do. If you would like to see more hilarity and fun and games, you can follow me on Instagram. That's also a great way to talk to me. You can follow Royalty Soaps on Instagram to get updates on new videos and soap releases, and you can follow Katie if you want to see a bunch of pictures of Lily. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the more silly nature of this video, and I hope that you have a lovely day. Be sure to do something fun for yourself, like... Be sure to do something responsible today, like clean your apartment. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> so do you want to, like, do the near them together or what? We, yeah, I think we can do at it. At the same time. Yeah, yeah, at the same time. Uh, oh, Caleb! Meow.